Hello guys, this is Razor Game Dev, and welcome to this first episode in this tutorial series on Love 2D. So for this first episode, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you how to make it so you can fire a bullet towards uh, the mouse cursor. So if it's like a top-down shooter. Um, okay, so yeah, just to get into it. Let's uh, let's just talk about the project that we have that I used to create that I created to create this tutorial. Um, anyway, so all we have is this player that will you know move around, and uh, we'll be able to shoot bullets around him in a circle with our mouse. So let's look at the project. Um, and this by, is by no means how you should make a Love2D game, but this is just temporary just to show you how to actually build it. So the first thing we do in the load is um, add this, uh, this function right here. What, it, it returns a table, and we're going to push it into the entities. And then we're going to loop through the entities and um, update them and then draw them. And this just draws the FPS. Um, this removes it if uh, the table, um, like the player table, has the remove flag. Um, so let's go into the player. And this is where we could be adding our shooting code. Um, the player isn't really like, y you can insert this anywhere in your um, anywhere in your project. This is just how I built it, this one. So I just create a, a simple table and then I return it at the end. Um, and then I just have simple key input to move the player around, and then I just draw it at his position. Um, and his position is uh, the X and the Y coordinates, and then VX and VY are velocity. Now if we go to the bullet, this is exactly the same as the player, it's just a really simple um, uh, guide that basically has a timer that will count down using delta time, and when it gets less than zero, then it will remove itself. So it will be around for around two seconds. And then it just draws. Right here, now what this does is it just says uh, the self, the position just increments by delta time, or no, by uh, the velocity times delta time. So it'll just basically move in whatever uh, direction uh, self to vx is. So yeah, that's pretty simple. So if we go to player, um, at the very top I included the bullet class. So so basically, um, let's let's go over here. Let's go to function, and if you want to look up this uh, like how to actually make a game and game uh, loop and all that. I'll be creating more tutorials for that later. But for now, we're just going to say create bullet. Um, we're going to actually add it to the uh, entities um, table. So right here, grab the entities table, which is a global. You really shouldn't make it global. But again, just for the sake of this tutorial. So yeah, so let's just create an X. Um, let's just spawn it at the player's X. So just say self.x self dot y um, and then this is where we put in the velocity so I want it to go towards the left so negative 100 for the velocity and then we'll, um, 0 for the y velocity so if we build this you'll see that it creates a well, I guess it, it yeah you click it creates a bullet and it just spawns it towards the um, towards the left you now it'll start moving towards the left so anyway how do we shoot towards the mouse that's a good question um, so it's actually pretty simple uh, what we want to do is first get the mouse coordinates so MX my. Let's create a local variable, and in love there's this built-in command um, that's called love.mouse.getPosition, and that gets the mouse um, position in coordinates to uh, screen um, coordinates. So what I mean by screen coordinates is there, there's two coordinate systems. There's the world coordinates, let's build this, there's world coordinates, and then there's screen coordinates. Let's say your camera is zoomed in, then that means your world coordinates will be completely different than your uh, screen coordinates. So what you want is to get the mouse in, uh, I believe it's, uh, I believe you want it in world coordinates. And to do that, there's many different ways. If you're using the, uh, the camera, um, camera module, then it'll have a built-in get mouse X or get mouse position, um, in accordance to world position. But for now, don't worry about it because we're not using any zoom. Just get the raw position of the mouse. Uh, next we want the angle, the angle that the mouse is at from the, uh, the player's position. So let's just say angle is equal to, now here is where we get, it gets a little complicated. So to actually find the direction that we want to shoot the bullet, we have to use a little bit of trigonometry. So let's create a, let's use a math variable called math.atan2. And what this does is it takes in a, uh, the y coordinate and the x coordinate and then it converts it to an angle um, into a scalar. Or not scalar, but anyway, yeah. So what, what we want is vy, or mouse y minus self dot uh, y. And if you want to learn about why this works and all that, then I would do a little bit of research on your own. But um, it's, it's, it's a little bit complicated, and it just it, it's actually pretty simple. It's just linear. Um, it's just some geometry. But uh, anyway, for now, that grabs the angle. So now let's just print the angle so we can see what it looks like. 
and let's run it. So, if we go over here and we click, you'll see that we'll, we'll it will show this number, and it's actually in uh, radians. So if you think it's in degrees, it's not. Um, if we want to convert to the degrees, then we're going to say math degree. And what the difference between radians and degrees are, it's basically just like what the difference between Celsius and uh, and Fahrenheit. You know, one's just a different way to measure an angle. It's just a different unit. So anyway, as you can see, um, if we go completely down, that should be around 90, or I guess, uh, well, it's, it's a little off, but whatever. It still works for this purpose. Um, anyway, so let's get the, uh, the uh, let's spawn a bullet. So table dot um, insert entities, and then we're going to insert create bullet. So self.x, and I'm going to spot towards the middle of the player, so I'm going to, um, since the player's width is 32, I'm going to make it 16. Um, I'm going to add 16 and also subtract 4 because the bullet's width is uh, 4. And normally you should make these variables, but just for the sake of this tutorial, um, I'm not going to. Now next, what are the, uh, what should the, um, the velocity be, the direction? Um, the velocity of the bullet will determine its direction. Just remember, it, it, it's, a, uh, it's a vector. Every vector has an angle and a uh, and a you know um, a distance. Um, so to get the dx and dy, we're going to say uh, local um, or actually v velocity x velocity y um, is equal to math dot cosine, and this will turn the angle into a cosine um, times the speed that we want it to go in it, it times the direction or the speed. So math dot cosine uh, creates um, takes the angle and actually creates it into a uh, it normalizes it and uh, makes it into a wave. Um, if you don't know, if you don't know what this means, then I would uh, look up a tutorial on what it actually means. Uh, and then next, math that sine for the vy angle. And the reason why we do math that sine and not math dot cosine for the y angle is that if you remember, um, uh, sine waves and cosine waves are opposite. They peak at opposite points, which would actually create a circle. Um, anyway, you don't need to know what this means for um, for this tutorial, but for now, um, if you want to know why this works, then I'd look that up. So, okay, let's reiterate. We get the mouse coordinates. We get the angle of the mouse coordinates uh, towards the player's position. So the player's position in the middle. Um, actually, not in the middle. I believe we need to do that. Um, okay, so let's put these in parentheses just so we can show what's going on a little bit easier. Anyway, we grab the angle. And then we convert it into a, uh, into, then we uh, multiply it by the, um, we take the angle, we get the cosine and the sine of it, and then we multiply it by the speed. So this is the speed that we want the bullet to move at. So let's create a local variable, let's just name it speed. I don't think I explained that. Speed, we're going to make it 256. And I like this speed, um, but you can change this to whatever you want. And then let's build. So now when we click, you'll see that we spawn a bullet towards the mouse. And uh, when we move, you know, it will uh, it will move that too. So it would uh, spawn the player towards the mouse. Um, and I just want to really make sure you guys understand that uh, um, how this works because I I want to be clear in my tutorials. I usually aren't. So let's just let's just go back into the bullet class. Um, so the the velocity x and velocity y, you just add it to the position and multiply it by the delta time. So however you build your game, um, hopefully it's different than this one because this is a very poorly built game. But however you built it, all you have to do is in increment the x coordinate by the velocity x, and then multiply it by delta time if you want to, you know, if you want to run smoothly. Anyway, guys, I think that'll be it. Uh, this is what we got. Um, if you want me to continue this top, like create a top-down shooter series, then we can. We can totally do that. Um, I can show you how to create some zombies and all that. Um, and for the next tutorial, uh, let me know what you want. Like it's actually kind of hard to think about what. Um, like, I'm trying to think, what, what, what did I need to know when I was learning Love2D? Um, and I'm still learning a lot, by the way, so don't expect everything I say to be, to be perfect. But anyway, anyway that, that'll be in the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer every single one, and see you in the next video.